Yo, yo, what is up and welcome back. My name is Joe Tuck. I'm a Cleveland, Ohio based artist. Now I know it's been a while since I posted my last video and I do apologize, but some big things happened around here. First, I shaved the beard. Second, I painted the studio. And third, I built this desk behind me. But that's not the reason you're here. So today, let's get into a painting that I had a ton of fun with of a person that needs no introduction. I'm talking about Mr. Carter, Wheezy F Baby, the one and only Lil Wayne. This image is from the Dedication 5 mixtape, and I really like it because of how simple it is, how bold and graphic it is. I had an amazing time simplifying the process and am more than proud of the final result. So, let's get into it. Starting off by cutting out the entire outline of the image, this will allow me to block in the base color on the canvas. In this instance, it'll be white. Now usually this outline layer would be the most prevalently used color in the piece, but since I'm only cutting two layers, there's only going to be a base color and a detail color. Since I'm only doing two layers, all the detail you see is being cut out in this one layer, which did pose a bit of an obstacle as to where to leave support structures. Picture you're cutting out the letter O. You would first start by cutting out the outside, but if you cut that out completely, you wouldn't be able to cut out the inside because the entire O would peel off. So this layer was really about strategically leaving supports in to get the detail and also leave the stencil with structural integrity. I didn't plan out where these supports would be beforehand, I more treated it as a puzzle as I went along. Now I didn't cut out any of the red areas, just because they varied as to whether they are in front of the black tattoos or behind them, so it made more sense to paint those on later. So I'm not quite sure what happened here, but I wasn't happy with how the paint was going on with the roller. I don't know if it was the roller head I used or the consistency of the paint I mixed, but no matter how much paint I got on the roller, it just wouldn't go down evenly. I ended up having to do way too many coats and used a ton of paint to get it to a place I was happy with. So I'm definitely looking for a better solution for my next painting. Because of the size of the image, I had to cut the stencil at an angle, which is why it doesn't seem to lay flat here. I did get a bit of paint bleed under the edges because of it, but nothing I can't fix later on. So now it's time for the layer with literally all the details. I'm really liking these two layer stencils because you see everything come together with just one layer. Do you see those lines in the hair? Those are the supports I was talking about. Now I'm going back in and filling in anywhere where those supports were.
After that, I can go in and clean up any areas where the detail layer bled onto the white layer. I'm also laying down a base layer where the red's going to go. Some of these tattoos were just too small to accurately cut as part of the stencil, and I thought I'd be able to do a better job going back in with a brush. Again, this is one of the reasons why I don't use spray paint for my stencils. It allows me to go back in and clean everything up as well as add anything that I wasn't able to get in the initial stencil. Now it's time to add the red. It's the same red I used as the background to really pull the piece together. Like I said earlier, there are just too many overlapping tattoos that it made more sense to put the red in with a brush rather than cut a separate layer for it. The only other color in this piece was the silver and the necklace. So again, I didn't think it warranted its own stencil layer. Since that first stencil went down a bit weird, I have a lot of edges to clean up, but again, not a problem, and the reason I use brushes. Only thing left is that crispy signature. Now let's see it. So there it is. Like I said, I really enjoyed this piece and it gave me an excuse to listen to a ton of Lil Wayne while I painted it. It was a great experience stepping back and doing a stencil with less layers than my normal 10 plus. And I'm stoked on the result. That's it for today though. I have a huge project coming next, which you won't want to miss. So subscribe, like this video and leave a comment. I can be found on Instagram at the Real Joe Tuck for more of my art and for some behind the scenes content. It's been real, it's been fun, it's been real fun. Peace.